right, here we are with the Microtech Amphibian Ramlock. I don't know if there was an, a, an amphibian before, like a automatic amphibian maybe, or if this is the first amphibian ever. There's a lot of old Microtechs I'm not aware of. If you know, let me in the let me know in the comments. I'd be interested. Uh, but this is a new release with their new Ramlock. It's uh, it's a very big knife. It's got their M390 MK blade steel, which is basically M390 with a little tweak. This is uh, this knife was lent to me by a buddy, Diesel Body EDC. Appreciate it, man. I'm gonna be choking up here for the cardboard cutting so that uh, I don't get snagged up in the sharpening soil as I'm slicing. And it was pretty comfortable in this position. Uh, this thing's a slicer, man. Uh, it's it's pretty crazy. Uh, so it's a recurve edge that thickens up quite a bit, uh, you know, pretty significantly as it gets toward the tip. Um, but man, when you're in that recurved area, it's nice and thin, and it is a slicer. It's absolutely a slicer. I almost feel like that recurve is helping to trap the cardboard um, as I'm slicing, too. Very nice. Utility cuts. There's a good amount of belly on this, so the tip is kind of inaccessible. Not inaccessible. It's more difficult to get to. You can see how high I'm, uh, I'm having to raise up to get to it. Um... So, not the most comfortable thing to utility cut with. You actually can do it this way. Um, probably not the most accurate, but, you know, you can. Um, so, uh, yeah, you know, utility cutting is not this knife's strong suit, but it absolutely can. And like I said, it gets significantly thicker up there at the tip, so um, that's a factor as well. Let's cut up this old glove. Let's get this thumb out of the way. Who needs that? Roller on up. And let's see how this thing does in a food prep style chop. So what I normally would do is start with the tip and rock back. Uh, like that and it's doing fine um, But on this knife it actually works better to do it like that as you're seeing um, the, th the the tip is so thick on this knife that it felt like I was kind of pushing an axe through the leather When I was trying to start with the tip and rock um, It's just it gets real thick up there, you know uh, so Yeah, and that's gonna be a th something I notice here on the Cecil rope as well starting up there at the tip it just doesn't cut you know it, it cuts but it just really feels thick and same on this uh if you kind of start back where the recurve ends there's that kind of small little hump in the edge it uh it cuts better back there and this could be a, a big positive for some people. Um, if you want a real strong tip to do some light prying with or something where you want a really strong tip, um, this would be great. This is a very strong tip. Next. Let's try cutting this uh, this double layered portion of strap here, stitched together. Very nice. Not a lot of fraying at all. Like I said, when you're using that recurve area that's real thin, it's it's a cutter. This is some really hard plastic uh, I think it's used for like uh, I think it's an air hose um, I might start using this in testing we'll see 
Um, and it's really hard to get through. But that might be a good thing. It's really, really hard plastic. Can't even squeeze it. Um, same thing here. When you're starting up at the tip, it, it's really, really thick. And it feels really thick. Um, start a little further back and it cuts easier. Strap. Will it get all the way through the two-inch strap? With that recurve helping us out, I think it might. I was hopeful. And yes, it can. Very nice. A little bit of a dangler there. Just has to do with how I'm putting pressure into the cut, I think, because... On this last one, I get all the way through again. There's some technique involved here, but I try to do it the same way every time. So, did really well on that. Let's test the lockup. First of all, oh well, yeah, let's, let's test the lockup. Yeah, let's spine whack it kind of have to do that nowadays especially since I've seen these ram locks fail before in videos I've never experienced it but I've seen it happen this one's rock solid very huge knife so big that when you're choked all the way back it almost feels like a machete it feels like you have so much leverage for chopping you can totally chop with this thing Let's see how our edge held up. Not too bad, got a little bit of a snag there, as you can see. Not bad though, we're still cutting paper. A little bit rougher of a cut, but we're still doing it. Let's give it a quick strop. Now here's another, uh, well here's a reason why I don't really like recurves, is the upkeep is a little more difficult. Uh, this one's pretty gradual, but still there's a part in the middle of the curve there where the strap wasn't hitting. Uh, I would need a thinner strip of leather uh, on a thinner piece of wood to be able to get that area. Um, but uh, yeah, let's try it again after a quick strop. That was a very quick strop. And we're back to good. The, the little snag is mostly gone now. Got that out. Um, so yeah, there you go. Overall, this knife is not really my style. I don't love it aesthetically or functionally. Um, but there's uh, there's definitely some good features here. You know, it's a, definitely a slicer. Uh, very thick tip, so keep that in mind. And the action, I think, is the best, honestly, out of the Ramlock knives. Is It feels the snappiest. And I don't think it's the Ramlock itself. I just think it's the, the, the uh, deployment method. On this one, it's thumb studs, and on the MSI or Stitch, it's a, the blade hole. Um, this one's pretty easy to flick out with your thumb. Definitely easier than the others. Uh, so I do like that about it. Um, I didn't notice any big hot spots either. Um, now, the clip is really stiff. Um, definitely almost a, sometimes a two-hander getting it in the pocket. Um, so there's that. But it's low profile, so it doesn't cause a hot spot. That's it. Please like the video. Love ya.